Hey guys, in today's video we will have a look at a brake fluid tester and I'm going to explain how to use it and why you should care about your brake fluid and, and why to test it at all. So many cars have in the service uh, program a uh, recommendation to change the brake fluid for example every two years for example on the BMW that's the the guidance so instead of flushing out the, the uh, brake fluid from from the system uh, I'm paying like maybe uh, 50 to 100 dollars for, for doing that you could test the brake fluid and decide based on that is there a need to to flush the system of course if you're going to flush the system yourself the brake fluid maybe doesn't cost that much maybe you pay like 15 dollars for the brake fluid but um, it's not a job which i enjoy doing myself so i went ahead and, and bought a brake fluid tester this is actually something which uh, Scotty Kilmer on YouTube recommended and uh, well these testers cost around 10 to 15 dollars or maybe you can get uh, some better quality ones for for slightly more. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to help out the channel you can order one via my link. So anyhow uh, this one I got at a local car store uh, I'd say this one is not that great quality but it does get the job done um, the only instructions it had was uh, how to open the the small cover to to insert the battery it runs on an, a AAA battery and uh, you turn it on by by just pressing the, the button and then by a long on this model you, you long press to change to uh, dot 5.1 and long press again to dot 3 and then long press to dot 4 and this one just sh shows if it's okay or then there's a lead for um, that there is some moisture in the brake fluid but you don't need to change it yet and then there's a red lead for for when the moisture level is is higher and, and you need to change it so how this works is is you just remove this cover and stick it in the uh, brake fluid container so let's do that now so now with the cover removed just go back to dot four because that's what my car has it's uh, in a bit of an un unconvenient spot under under here so i'll just remove the cover and then we can see the brake fluid in there and the device is on so I'll just stick it in and the, the idea is that both of those uh, metallic uh, heads go into the brake fluid get turned off uh, so in, in this case it, it shows the brake fluid is on uh, is okay I think I didn't stick it deep enough let's try that again so now with the now it's deep enough in the reservoir and we can see that it's in still in the okay area but it does have some moisture so I'm not going to going to change the brake fluid yet, but I'll check it once a year and then change it if necessary. And just to show that the what, what happens when there is a lot of moisture, I have a cup of water here, so let's stick it in there. So I went ahead and, and cleaned this off with some paper, and let's try turning it on again and then sticking it in the water. And we can see that the LEDs light all, all the way up and it's in red. So uh, how this device works, it measures the electric uh, conductivity of the fluid and of course water conducts electricity and that's why it uh, 
gives a, a, a higher reading and it lights up in red. So if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing. Hope to see you in the next one.